Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on analog modulation. Our topic for today's discussion is to how to compute the total power in amplitude modulation. Okay, in short, okay, I'm going to show it to you how to compute the total power for the three types of amplitude modulation, like double sideband full carrier, double sideband suppressed carrier, and single sideband suppressed carrier. This will be the part eight series discussion. This video will do a quick conclusion on amplitude modulation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more info from this channel. Thank you so much. Let's quickly go to the example one. Okay, the total power of an amplitude modulation signal is 5,500 watt, while the carrier power is 4,500 watt. Okay, what is the sideband power? Okay, so the question tasks us to calculate what is the sideband, either the lower sideband or the upper sideband. Okay, but the question given to us, okay, we have the total power, which is 5,500, which consists of the addition of these three components, the lower sideband, the carrier, and the upper sideband. And the question also given to us the power of the carrier, which is 4500 watt. Hence, we can easily compute the power of lower sideband plus the power of upper sideband, which is shown over here. So the power of upper sideband plus the power of lower sideband, okay, I can actually take the total power minus away the carrier power, which gives me 1000 watt. Okay, so the question since task us to find the sideband, okay, I can see that these two lower sideband and upper sideband they are symmetric. So what I need to do is I need to do a divide by two and hence I can compute either the low power at the lower sideband or power at the upper sideband. They have exactly 500 watt. Next, the question asks us to find what is the modulation index M. Okay, and then if you still remember, this is the formula to calculate the power of the either the lower sideband or upper sideband. Okay, so our objective is to find what is M. I need to shift my divide by four and multiply by the carrier power to the left-hand side. So now instead of divide by four, it becomes multiply by four. Instead of multiply by carrier power, it becomes divide by carrier power. So from here, I can compute my modulation index, which is 0 0.667. Next, example two. Okay, this figure here shows the power spectrum of a double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulation signal. It calculates the total power of the double sideband suppressed carrier signal in dBm. Okay, so let's understand this question first. Okay, so this is frequency versus power. Okay, so therefore I know that this is 10 dBm for the lower sideband and 10 dBm for the upper sideband. So the question tasks us to compute the total power. So I need to add these two power together in ratio. Okay, but the question given to me is in dBm. So the first thing I need to do is I need to convert my dB into ratio. And then I add these two together. And this will give me the total power in ratio. After that, because the question tasks me to find them in dBm, I convert the total power from ratio to dBm, and hence I done this job. Okay, let's quickly see how this can be done. Okay, so firstly, like I mentioned earlier on, okay, the question given to me is 10 dBm. I need to convert them into ratio, which is 10 mini watt. Okay, so which means that this lower sideband is 10 mini watt. This upper sideband is also 10 mini watt. Hence, I can compute the total power. Okay, which is 10 plus 10, which is 20 mini watt. Okay, again, remember the question tasks us to convert them into dBm. Okay, and hence I need to convert my 20 mini watt into dBm. And hence I can easily compute that this is 13 dBm. 
Okay, so this is example two. Okay, but if you really understand how to make full use of dB, okay, you can actually do this. Okay, so you know that this is 10 dBm. Okay, and then if you still remember, if I have two times the power, okay, it's also at equivalent to plus 3 dB. Can you still remember? Plus 3 dB, which means that it's two times the power. Hence, this 10, okay, I can easily, this 10 dBm, okay, I can easily plus 3 dB. Okay, which means that the total power I can easily obtain, which is 13 point dBm. Okay, if you fully understand how we can work on dB and dBm, okay, you will understand what I want to say. Okay, but if not, okay, I think this is a safer way to derive the answer, the total power for double sideband suppressed carrier as 13 dBm. Next, example three. Uh, 1250 watt amplitude modulation carrier signal has a modulation index M of 60%. Okay, firstly, calculate the total transmit power. Okay, for these three cases, double sideband full carrier, double sideband suppressed carrier, and single sideband suppressed carrier. So firstly, let's do this double sideband full carrier. Okay, if you still remember, this is the equation to compute the double sideband full carrier. Okay, so all the value I know, I just substitute. Okay, so I compute that for double sideband full carrier. Okay, I actually transmit a power of 1475 watt. Next, for double sideband suppressed carrier, this is the equation. Okay, again, from here, I can compute that the total power required for double sideband suppressed carrier will be 225 watt. And then last but not least, single sideband suppressed carrier. Again, this is the formula. Okay, I can also easily compute that this will be the total power for single sideband suppressed carrier. Okay, so this example, I want to clearly to show it to you. Okay, how much power reduction? Okay, you can see how much power you actually reduce from suppress away the carrier. Okay, so this number instead of 1000 over values, it become 100 over values. So you actually can save a lot of transmit power if you suppress the carrier. And then next, if you transmit either one of the band, either the lower side band or the upper side band, okay, you can see that the saving is also another divided by two. Okay, so you save by another two times the power okay, if you just transmit single side band suppress carrier. However, okay, I guess if you still remember okay, the Modulator or demodulator for this double sideband full carrier okay, is a very simple, okay, require very minimum component. Okay, as compared later on, okay, these are even more and more complex. And this actually require the most component. And typically for this uh, modulator and demodulator is actually more expensive as compared to the other two. Okay, so this is example three. Example four, okay, the figure below shows the block diagram of a full AM modulator where EMT is the baseband. Okay, so this is the baseband okay, with frequency from zero hertz to four kilohertz. You can see from here. So this is the baseband. This is a carrier. Okay, so from here, I can compute that the carrier, okay, they actually have one volt of amplitude and the carrier frequency is 100 kilohertz. So these two things fit into the AM modulator, okay, go through the square law device and then go through the band pass filter. And this is a full band, full AM, double side band, full carrier. Okay, so let's quickly do this question. Okay, firstly, sketch the spectrum of the full AM wave. Okay, so firstly, for a full AM wave, okay, so this is the carrier. Okay, the carrier is at 100 kilohertz. And you can see from here, this is zero to four. So I just do a copy from the modulating signal, okay, zero to four here, and I do a mirror image on the other side. Okay, so after that, I'm ready to put in the value. So this is the carrier frequency, which I have told you just now. Okay, so this is the FC plus the modulating frequency, same as the other side, okay, which is the carrier minus away the modulating frequency. So from here, I can compute that the carrier is 100, 
Okay, remember the modulating signal is four, so I add them together, it becomes one zero four, and then on the other side is hundred minus four, so therefore I have this spectrum of the full AM wave here. So this is the carrier. Next, okay, what is the function of the pen pass filter? Okay, the question asks, what is the purpose of this pen pass filter? Okay, so the band pass filter is either to allow the full band to pass through, okay, or okay, later on you will see that I actually can allow one of the band to pass through. Okay, I'll show it to you. So the purpose of this band pass filter is the output of the square law device contain all the full AM signal and other unwanted frequency. Okay, the function of the band pass filter is to select the full amplitude modulation signal only. Next. Okay, what must be the upper and lower cutoff frequency for the band pass filter? Okay, so if you take a look on what we have derived earlier, so if we want this full AM wave to pass through the band pass filter, so the lower cutoff must be 96 and the upper cutoff must be 104, right? So therefore, this is supposed to be the correct answer. Next, okay, so... The same modulating and carrier signal is fed through the below AM circuit now. So everything is still intact, okay, but you can see that the band pass filter here is 96 to 100K. So let's take a look here. So what type of AM modulation is this? Okay, so this is 96 to 100K. Okay, so if you take a look on this here, 96 to 100K. So which means that we only have the lower side band, correct? So therefore, for this question here, okay, it's a lower side band, single side band suppressed carrier. Okay, will be able to pass through for this circuit because the band pass filter only select this lower side band, single side band suppressed carrier to pass through the band pass filter. Next, what is the function of the band pass filter? So it's the same. So the key role now is basically they want to filter away one side band and harmonics. Okay, sketch the spectrum of the output signal. So how, what will be the outcome? Okay, so the outcome will be only the low side band. Okay, so this is the outcome. So if you take a look over here. Okay, so this will be the outcome from 96 to 100. So this will be the outcome after you filter through this band pass filter of 96 to 100K as shown over here. So with this, i like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.